In this experiment we have uh, six text test tubes, two of them with an aqueous solution of phenolphthalein, two with an aqueous solution of curcumin, and two of them with an aqueous solution of malachite green. And here we have citric acid and sodium hydroxide, which, um, the, I mean, a solution of sodium hydroxide that we obtained uh, by just diluting some drain cleaner with water. So, let's drop a little bit of sodium hydroxide in uh, the second test tube. Okay, so the phenolphthalein becomes fuchsia, or if you want to call it pink. The curcumin solution becomes orange. And the malachite green requires a little bit more sodium hydroxide uh, and we will notice that malachite green will become discolored let's stir these test tubes a little bit okay right so in an alkaline environment, these three chemicals have changed color, phenolphthalein became a pink, curcumin became orange, and the um, malachite green lost its color, became just transparent white. Okay, now let's use citric acid to decrease the pH. Okay, so phenolphthalein is coming white again. Curcumin goes back to yellow. Malachite green, we will add a little bit more citric acid because we also added more sodium hydroxide. All right. And nothing happens. Hmm, interesting. And here we are several hours later, as we can see, the test tube containing malachite green with excess acid has actually become even darker blue-green. So basically, the uh, rate of the reaction is just very slow. So malachite green does work as a pH indicator, it just takes its own time.